So nuclear bombs, they can be really powerful. Also, a high amount of energy, uh, or I should say nuclear weapons. Uh, there are several uh, types. Uh, there's the fission type. So fission. Which we just talked about, the fission reactor. You're going from a large part uh, to a smaller. So this will usually use like a uranium-235. Same sort of reaction. Uh, or say a plutonium-239. Uh, will also work. Uh, and this is the type that was dropped uh, in World War II uh, on Japan, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So that was a fission type bond. Uh, there's, when this reacts, there's a release of neutrons. Those high energy neutrons, when they get into the body, that is what causes the problems. Uh, the second type, uh, you can have what's called a hydrogen bomb. Uh, I have the reaction for it. <coughs> so there's uh, a hydrogen, uh, deuterium isotope, plus a tritium isotope. So it's hydrogen with a couple more neutrons. That will react to form a helium. And then, again, the neutron which is usually the item that causes uh, the problem. This has uh, yet to be used, but, but do exist. These would be way more powerful. Why would these be powerful? This is fusion. So I'm making a larger nucleus than I started with. So this is a fusion type bomb. Fusion is way higher energy than fission. And so even in the nuclear reactor, sort of uh, in that realm, uh, if we could do fusion reactions, we could make a lot more energy than with a fission reaction. But this uh, type has been tested in various areas in the South Pacific, uh, in Siberia, uh, and they're pretty potent. Uh, let me just mention the third type is the neutron bomb. It's similar to the hydrogen bomb. It's detonated at high altitudes, and then the neutrons that are the product of it rain down on the people, essentially. So they travel ground level, and that's where they destroy life. Um, so the first H-bomb that was ever uh, uh, came down, and I have a, a picture of what, it, it's a little dark, but you kind of get the idea. Here. There's a picture of it. Uh, I just want to, so the first H bomb, they named it Mike. So Mike, uh, and this was detonated in 1952. The mushroom cloud, so that's this part, was eight miles across. Do you imagine this being eight miles across? Just huge. And 27 miles high. So this went up to 27 miles. Just big, big. The canopy, so this part right here, was 100 miles wide. So basically, that would be from here to San Francisco or something. Just huge, huge. Uh, and radioactive mud fell out of the sky, followed by heavy rain. 80 million tons of earth was vaporized. And this was a megaton uh, explosion. Uh, there was a second H-bomb uh, in Bikini Atoll, 1954. Uh, and this one uh, was even bigger. And here's a quote uh, from somebody, a physicist, who was watching it, part of, part of this. I was on a ship that was 30 miles away. And we had this horrible white stuff raining down on us. What would that be? This would exploded in the ocean. Like the reefs, the calcium carbonate, that white stuff rained down on them. 
Uh, they got 10 rads of radiation, which is about uh, like in 100 x-rays, that, that potent. So they probably had some sort of measuring device on them. Uh, it was pretty frightening. There was a huge fireball with turbulent rolls going in and out. The thing was glowing. It looked to me like a diseased brain up in the sky. It spread until the edge of it looked as if it was almost directly overhead. It was a much more awesome sight than the puny little atomic bomb. Um, yeah, so really, really potent. Um, and uh, very crazy, uh, very scary uh, even how crazy these weapons can be.